The Armour All Summer Grill, your off-season fix of V8 supercars news and views with Grant Rowley and Cameron McConville. The Armour All Summer Grill returns and today's topic is the Development Series. Now there's no doubt that the Development Series has its place in the V8 supercars scene, but for some there's been questions about the involvement of the main series teams within the sport. I spoke to one of the Fujitsu Series' most outspoken team owners, Matthew White. Is it still a development series? That's probably questionable. Um, look, it's still providing a platform for some new drivers to get in, um, but the ante is certainly lifted, and with that, obviously, budget requirements um, and investments, investment requirements. Um, so, I mean, look, I want to be involved to win, and uh, we're giving it a fair shake up this year, but unfortunately, coming up a bit short. Um, so for me it's a year of frustration, um, we're doing the best job that we can do, um, but um, yeah at the end of the day still not quite getting the job done. I guess some of your complaint there is that the main series teams are allowed in and you've been quite vocal on uh, those teams, uh, you know, whether they should be allowed in, but isn't it heartening that your team has come pretty close this year to punching with the likes of Triple Eight? Yeah, look, it, it most certainly is heartening, but it doesn't pay the bills. Um, that's a difference. Like we try and run a commercial business, and um, you know we've, we've made some big promises this year to, to get what we've got together, and you know we've come up short. And you know I've, I've thrown everything at it. Dave's thrown everything at it, uh, and we're close. Look, we're, we're definitely there, um, but unfortunately, it's the best of the rest. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't have trouble with level ones being involved you know sometimes there's good reasons for it I mean the Stonies have done a great program um, with Scotty McLaughlin and uh, he's really starting to bear some fruit now and you know he, he should be an endurance drive next year so that's fantastic um, but that's a level we can race race at um, whereas Triple Eight have just taken it to a whole nother level and you know that um, that's up to them they're not breaching any rules as, as Roland's pointed out um, but it's just you know how, how we respond to it as a uh, or me as an individual but the category as a whole and, and whether the, the rest of the series can rise to that level or in fact whether they should. That was Development Series team owner Matthew White. Cam, you've raced in the Development Series quite often. Should the main series teams be allowed in? Look, I think so, Grant. I mean, I, I like the NASCAR model where you have teams in two tiers, you know, of the sport and I think it gives the, the smaller teams and the younger drivers a, a bit of a benchmark and something to learn off or step up to. The issue I have though with the development series is some of these teams that make a living out of it charging ridiculous money for the young drivers to, to do around. So I think that has to be looked at. But at the moment I think it's quite a good mix and uh, giving guys like, like Chaz perhaps a future career in V8 supercars. Roland Dane's Triple Eight Race Engineering team swept all in 2011, winning both the V8 Supercars Championship and the Fujitsu Series with Andrew Thompson winning six of the seven rounds in the Fujitsu title to claim a convincing win. I spoke to Roland Dane, who says that the development series is a key part of his business. Well, I had to make a choice really, I suppose, between going fishing and doing the DVS. And I thought we'd do the, the DVS series to give some of the personnel on the team <laughs> a, uh, a, an opportunity to operate in the race team experience without having to be part of the main team, uh, but also to, to help re-establish um, Andrew Thompson's credibility and his confidence and everything, etc., which I think, uh, I think he's been able to do that under the umbrella that we've given him pretty successfully this year. So there were a number of reasons for doing it, and, uh, and I'm pretty happy with the decision. Has it helped the main game program in any way? Um, it has in that it's helped Andrew and therefore it helped his performance at the Enduros, I'm sure. Uh, but look, it, it helps the team as a whole in terms of people, in terms of involvement in the, uh, um, in the factory, and also the opportunity for down the road for one or two of the people who are involved in that program maybe to step up to the, to the main series at some point. There's been a bit of mixed debate about whether the main series team should be allowed to compete in the development series. Uh, what's your take on it? Uh, well, whether they should be or they shouldn't be, they are involved in it and they'll continue to be. They've been a part of the, the, the furniture of the, of the development series since its inception. So 
um, and I think they'll continue to be in, in varying amounts in, in the future. It's always been there, so the development series has been run by main, main series team several times. Uh, it'll probably continue to be sometimes, but not all the time. And I don't see it uh, changing despite Matthew White's whinging. There was certainly some stick between Matthew White and Roland Dane this year, but good on them for both having a go. You're on the Armour All Summer Grill. More tomorrow.